This tutorial is obviously all about gradient. Gradient is about determining the steepness of the slope. Some slopes are particularly steep, while other slopes are much more gentle. This can be relevant to us for a whole number of reasons. It can help us determine where we want to build houses, where we should construct roads, where we should work out where bike tracks or we should run or walk. Also can be useful for planning rescues during emergency events. So here we have a slope. And in order to calculate how steep it is, we need to know two things. We need to know its rise, how high it is. We also need to know its run, how long the slope is. And we remember that, or we calculate that, using a very simple equation. Gradient is equal to rise over run. So we talk about gradient in terms of a ratio. So an answer for gradient might be something like 1 to 40. That means for every 1 metre of rise, we have 40 metres of run. Or it could be 1 to 5. Every 1 metre of rise is 5 metres of run. Now, we need to bear something in mind that the rise and the run, set up as they are, are both the numerator and the denominator. You would know this from maths. In order to get a ratio, we need to divide both the rise and the run by the numerator. So that would be, imagine that the rise was 60 metres for this mountain. And imagine that the run was 1,000 metres. Now, simply calculating 1,000, uh, 60 divided by 1,000 would not give us a ratio. So we need to divide 60 by 60, and the answer is up here, which gives us 1. Then we divide 1,000 by the 60 as well, which gives us 1 to 16.7 metres. And that's how we calculate it. OK, let's practice that. So here we have a contour map. It's important that we note that the contour interval for this map is 5 metres and that the scale for this map is 1, to one centimetre for, is equal to 10,000 centimetres in real life. And we're going to be working between these two points here, between point A and between point B. So the first thing we need to do is recall that the, ratio we're using, the equation we're using is rise over run. Now, A, let's find out what its rise is. A is at 140 metres. Here is 150. Using this index line, we can track back along to here. And obviously, um, 145, 140 is where A is. And B, if we come up, here we have this index line, 175. So we're going 5 up, so it's going to be 180. So to find out that how high we've gone up, and we've traveled from A to B, we simply subtract the height of A from the height of B. And that will equal to 40. So here we have our rise information, 40 metres. Let's determine our run. To do that, we're going to need to measure the distance between the two. And here in this ruler, it is clearly 4 centimetres. So we take our 4 centimetres, every 1 centimetre is equal to 10,000 centimetres, so we times that 4 centimetres by 10,000 centimetres, which obviously gives us 40,000 centimetres. So now we have our run, but here's the tricky bit. We're in different units. This one is in metres, this one is in centimetres. We have to have them in the same units. So the easiest way to do that is we know that if we cancel out two zeros from centimetres, just like this, it will convert it into metres. So we take the two zeros off and that will become 400 metres. Now we're ready to calculate it. So we, do, we um, divide the 40 by itself, which gives us 1 down the bottom there. Then we divide the 400 by 40 as well, which gives us 10. So the gradient in this one is 1 to 10. For every 1 metre we go up, we're travelling along 10 metres. Let's try it again. This time we're going to work from X to Y. The contour interval and the scale of the map have stayed the same. Rise over run. X is at 140 metres. I'll let you go back and figure that out uh, to see if I'm right. And Y is at 175. So we simply subtract. That's the wrong way around. We simply subtract 140 from the 175 and that should be 35 metres. So here we have our rise of 35. Let's measure across, bring that ruler in. That is three centimetres, give or take. So we type three centimetres by the 10,000 centimetres, and that gives us 30,000 centimetres. Obviously, they're in the wrong units, metres and centimetres, so we have to scrub two zeros off there, scrub them off, and that converts it into 300 metres. We divide by the numerator, gives us one, two, 8.6. There we have uh, the gradient between x and y. Okay, this is an opportunity for you now where you're going to do it yourselves. The contour interval for this map is 20 metres, 
and the scale is 1 centimetre to 50,000 centimetres. So calculate the gradient for the following points between C and D. Here is point C, there is point D. Between O and P, O is here, P is right up towards the top there. And lastly, Q and R, I'm sorry that's slightly cut off, but that is Q and R. And Q is here, R is there. You shouldn't find this too hard. The only other information you're going to need to know is the distance between them, and here are your rulers. Best of luck with that. I don't think you'll find it too hard. This is all you need to do to be able to calculate gradient effectively.